Hi, welcome to PG Cast, a production of HashRocket. My name is Josh Branchad. In this episode, I'm going to show you a handy shortcut we can use when ordering rows in a select statement. So to start out, uh, let's say we've got a user's table with an ID, a first name, and a last name. And then we've also got a handful of records that we're going to insert into the table to start out. So we'll copy these over into our PSQL session here. Great, so now we've got our users table and five records. Uh, with this table, we want to look at all the users in our system. So we run a select command on the table for the first and last names. Great, and so we see um, all the users in our table but in the order that they were inserted into the table. What we'd really like to do though is see the list of users ordered by, first, ordered by last name and then by first name. We can do this by including an order by clause. And that's gonna look something like this. Great, so this works as expected. We see our users ordered by last name and then first name. And this is probably how we're used to seeing the order by clause. But the order by clause is actually quite flexible. Instead of naming the output columns directly, like we've done in this previous query, we can also reference the indexes of the output columns. For instance, in this uh, select statement here, the first name is the first output column, so it gets an index of one, and the last name is the second output column, so it gets an index of two. So let's use ind the indexes of our output columns instead of the names directly and see if we can get the same result. Our last name has an index of two and our first name has an index of one. So we put them in that order and we see we get the same result with our select statement. As you might expect, the defaults for these orderings um, are gonna be ascending, but we can also change them to be descending like we would any other order by statement using the descending keyword. In a simple example like this one, we aren't gonna be saving much. However, when we are constructing complex statements and joining between many tables, this is going to turn out to be a really handy shortcut. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.